Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. In these times of, let's call them curious times. Guys, look at the moon beside this gigantic, Earth-like, well, it's blue. Looks like a cool, cooling off star. This is beside the moon. And when I say beside the moon, of course, it could be very far behind the moon. But it doesn't look like it. And at times, it does look like it's in front of the moon. I'm very serious. It popped up for me um, around the 6th, if I'm not exactly right. It could be the 7th, but I'm pretty sure the 6th. Between the 6th and the 8th. It's beautiful blue planet or cooling off star with structural formations, uh, whether mountain-like formations, there is different levels on this beautiful object. Now look here, top right, the full moon, and look what it's radiating. Thank you, moon, for showing us. Uh, I've been hearing blue Kashina all week. I've been seeing um, these planets, this particular planet, exactly placed the same way this morning in California, other countries all over the world. And I, when I say all over the world, I mean all over the world, all the way to Brazil, all the way to, uh, in Spain. Now, how awesome is this? We're traveling over top of our sun, and we can see those black specks that are at the back? Well, that was inside of the um, the flaring at the top side of the sun when it really, really reacted up quickly and I got it live and I got a picture of it. But you could see the corona around it. It's not usually how I record it and how it is. It was very aggressive and of course, you see these um, it looks like debris or some kind of anomaly. There's three black specks there and not quite a speck either. You can actually see a little shape or form of whatever is there, but it was uh, disturbing the sun uh, most definitely. I'm not going to declare that these are anything because I have no idea what they are. All I know is that they are out of place and it's by my information and my um, research so far that these objects should not be beside the moon. They should not be seen that big. We all know that the moon and the sun are the only two ob objects we've ever seen um, bigger than any other star. Then, of course, and with astrophotography, you can get some nebulae that look pretty nice and big in spiraling galaxies, etc., but never this big. And never this close. This is the object to the left of the blue uh, cooling off star, we'll call it, okay? This one is not the red planet that I got, but yes, it is red. It's radiating red, but look what's on it. And the mountainous surface. Could this have hit this object? Could be a cooling off asteroid on it. I mean, I'm just going through uh, theoretically all the possibilities in reality we're just looking at a beautiful photo but what is it what happened at this moment and why is this planet or what looks like a probably an asteroid or i don't know it looks like it's fiery too it's it's hard to uh, to comprehend this here look uh, the surface what's on it we see this round um, light emanating light and uh, okay guys look at the colors on it I've filtered many surfaces when I say many surfaces I do mean many surfaces not hundreds but close to 100 surfaces because there are over um, I don't know how many to say guys every star has a planet nearby okay every star the the Milky Way is filled with Millions of planets. Did you know that? Millions of planets. Now look at this surface. Look at the beautiful surface. It's a new surface to look at. And it's absolutely astounding to see this beside the moon. This object was below the moon. An orange light during the October full moon of 2017. But here, 
the surface is mesmerizing. And let me add that it's very different compared to many other surfaces. So many people have lied to others on YouTube too, and so many people have made fake channels and uh, bullshit, um, you know, lies. And it's hard for us to show the truth, but uh, the only thing I can do is, uh, brothers and sisters, I'm showing you the virtual truth, I swear to God. Over our sun, this beautiful object went ever so delicately, slowly by dipping into the sun's corona very close to it anyways and this magnificent one again i can't get over it spherical beautiful planet blue planet star cooling off star it's right by our full moon of october and at the back there you could see maybe a star in the constellation very far behind so what are we seeing? What's going on? There's a change, there's a shift. All right, we got this guys. We're not dead yet. Let's just observe. Monty Zabaninis. <laughs> I felt like adding this in right now because I'm missing my moon. But listen, we're finding objects around the moon so we can't help but study those too. I mean, what the heck's going on, right? There's so many things that we see in this photo. And this object here, this beautiful dome here, there's a line that comes down here all across Montes Apenninus, the entire mountain. And this is the Apennine Mountains. And this is Eratosthenes Crater that you see at the very bottom right here. And there's another object in there. It actually looks uh, pyramidal inside Eratosthenes Crater. But this is a beautiful x-ray shot. One of my favorites, one of my clearest too, and closest, guys, keeping in mind that this was taken with a next image five on the back of a four inch telescope well i don't know about you guys but i for one am not going to wait for disclosure to look for myself what's up there and these installations on the surface of the moon should um, get credibility for and get some attention because uh, this is serious take it all in take a good look at the beautiful complex, complex base, very complex. Look at that. Entrances, shafts, tunnels, whatever they may be, overpasses that go to connecting lines right there that you see. Everything connected. Lines coming down here. And this is on the surface of the moon. No, there's no manipulation. It's the absolute real surface. I swear to God, I am not lying. It's the original view of the surface after I've clarified it, enhanced it, and you know what? All this color is naturally on the surface. In the book, all right. Hey, look at that corner. Look at that. Are you seeing that? Right there? Look at that. What do you think of that, guys? The surface of the moon. No jokes. Inside of a crater, you say? No. They're not craters. Just lines on the ground. Every which way. Bases, domes. They're lit up. Activity runs underneath them, most likely. Look at that. Oh, too bad my name's on this one. I'm sorry. But uh, just take a look at it, okay? Give you an idea how the, and the entire surface is made. I'm not hiding it. I clarified it. It was hard. And now I see the truth. And I am able to clarify many other areas. Have you seen these bases? Seriously. You see what we're looking at? See the pipes? Is there enough proof? Of course there is. Sorry about that. Look at the back here. This is too symmetrical to be... And these are ancient ruins. Possibly some of them, yes, may be ancient ruins. Look at the mechanical devices and bridges and 
detail on the surface. It's right in front of us, guys. Look, they're all there. See that massive pike go in the ground there? It's all there, guys. Look at that. I may have some trouble posting with the 14 inch telescope, but uh, I'm going to use my head. I'm not out to uh, vindictively thrash anyone. Not even the ones that started all of this. I just uh, believe I have the right to see what's up there and uh, look at this. What a structure. One hell of a structure. Please pause this and look at the bridges. Look at the detail in what you just saw here in this short uh, 15 second clip right here. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, so you work for NASA and you get this job that you got to sit down and start blotching out structures and photos. And the first photo you get is this. <laughs> the guy quits. What do you want to blotch out? Real surface photos, you're not going to be able to blotch out anything. Here's a great example. At the bottom of this photo, as you look, you will see what looks like pixelation or lines right here in white jagged lines here too. This is all the structuring that's on the surface of the moon and you can see on the edges of the ridge. Well, it's made either made deliberately to look like a mountain or just simply looks like a mountain. They don't have a goal in putting everything symmetrical. They put everything where it has to be no matter how dumb it looks. If they have a necessity of putting something symmetrical, if something is symmetrical on the surface of the moon, I believe it's because it has to be. This literally looks like it's on a shaft here of some sort, like a crane almost. Doesn't mean it is, but it almost does look like it. But look here, the center. Beautiful sphere or dome that's right there in the center. And you have all this flat surface around it. And again, the drips, I call it. Why do I say drip? It's that haze that gets to the end and it swoops down like a cold mist or a shadow or something. And it's not. You can see square blocks. All these areas are made of square blocks. It looks like we're on the moon and we're in the constellation of Draco. Almost looks like lettering at times. So, yes, of course, a few of these stars are in the constellations in the background, but not the ones that are close to the moon. They were moving around and they were active during, again, the full moon a few months before. And you can see it here very clearly and as they were changing as I took different photos. Now, what do you think of that? <laughs> That's what I call an enhanced photo of the beautiful gases that are all around the moon that we can see different colors because of the interference and atmospheric disturbance between the earth and the moon. Look at the beautiful flower I've created. Just amazing what we can do with photography, but now hang on. Do you notice something around the moon? The debris field? Let's move back a little bit here. The moon is being bombarded by all these spherical objects that are, for some reason, all attracted to the moon right now. It's been like this for a couple of months, but events like these are absolutely incredible. And these objects, don't, guys, they're in darkness. And if some of them are under 100 feet long, we're not gonna see them. Like these, for example, if they're all under 50 feet, no one's seeing them, but look what's there. Look at the amazing uh, anomalies. And yes, they are close to the moon, very close to the moon. They're in front of the moon right now. beautiful shot of Venus seeing all the different array of uh, gases and it's just exquisite when you think of the size of Venus is right in there and <laughs> we're seeing all this beautiful there's Vega star attached with the umbilical cord to the mother nebulae Well, this is the virtual surface of the moon, and no one's going to tell me otherwise. Whether these structures are alien or human, guys, 
they're down there and they've been there for thousands of years because the moon's been untouched but now hang on have has anyone ever really checked to see if there's any changes look at the si silly little things on the moon that you can prove that are unnatural right off the bat boom boom there you go just sitting right there on the moon's edge there it is what do you think of that guys it's the planet or planetoid or whatever object going through the sun's um, corona and almost almost lower wasn't small there's another little object over top there now as hard as it is to believe you're looking at an explosion that happened and whatever this is it's flying away out of and it went through there that cataclysmic this is big so it hit something possibly two stars two asteroids I don't know see the trail there as it's burning away this is amazing this was one heck of a shot in deep space taking 32 shots repetitively Filling many cards of 32 jigs. Look at it move places in a couple of frames, yet all the stars remain in place. And Taurus was behind here, so it's not an Arcturus, that's for sure. Booties is not here, not during... Uh, These are the, the website fall. contributors. I've deposited the money this morning for the funds, $9,048 of it, the other thousands on its way, and we're going to the retailers the minute, of course, the entire money is in. The order will be placed, and then we're in a matter of weeks away from getting the telescope. Guys, I found so much in the sky. I'm totally mesmerized by what's out there. It's always nice to compare other channels to see what they're catch or, uh, catching on other countries. Take a look at WSO YouTube channel, please. And, you know, it's just a place to go to see what uh, other skies are showing. Thanks a lot, WSO. Steve, at the same time, for mentioning my channel, brother.